What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about dynamic trimming. This will help improve your workflow and enable you to have more specific edits. Now let's get started. Now if you enjoyed these videos and you want to see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's head down here in the timeline. So I have two videos as you can see. This video, this balloon, and then I have a city kind of late at night with hustle and bustle. You'll notice I also place an end point here at the beginning of the second clip and I put an end point at the end of the clip. Hopefully that'll make it easier to understand how this works. So very quickly, you obviously have your editing tools, you have your selection tool, you'll have like your ripple tool, your rolling tool, you'll have your slip and slide down here. Just your standard selection tool. If you grab it, you can bring it over. Clearly, it leaves a gap. Let me undo that. And then if you get the ripple tool, it'll shorten this clip, but it also snaps and brings down the second clip closer, which you can see here, there's a gap. Let me undo that. Now we have that basic out of the way. So now let's work on dynamic trimming. So with the same tools, I'm going to go back to the, the basic selection tool like I normally would drag. If I click, not necessarily in the middle, but just right here on the end, double click, you're going to see it throw the two clips, the centerpiece, up in the program monitor. So now you can see the first clip here to the left and the second clip here. Say we want to drag this over like we did before. You can go one frame at a time here and it'll separate it one frame or you can go by five frames. Now let me undo that. You can also use the keyboard shortcuts J, K, and L to scrub and find the exact in and out point you want. So for example, if I click J, it slowly goes backwards. I'll click K to stop it. And you'll see it'll automatically give me that cut. But now if I go forward with the L key, it brings it back. So if you're wanting just an inch frame by frame, you can obviously use this and go minus frame, minus frame. And the same thing if you wanna shorten or adjust the clip to the right, come double click on the second clip. You can see how the red line kind of is showing it this direction on this side of the split. You can do the same thing. You can shorten the frames in ones or fives, or you can use the J, K, and L. So I'll use L to go forward. So I'll go even further, I'll stop it there. It's gonna trim it there. I'm gonna undo all those. Now that's just because I did this with the selection tool active. But let's just say I wanna come down here and I wanna do the ripple tool. And if I click here, you can notice the tool is yellow versus red. That means it's a ripple tool. So instead of coming back and cutting it, it's going to drag the clip to the right. So let me double click again. So we have the same thing we saw before. But if I go back frames, let me go back five frames at a time. You'll see it's trimming the first clip back, but it's also pulling the second clip and closing the gap here. You can notice how here, how it's slid down. And this is now empty. Let me undo that. Now at the same time, say let's switch down and let's do the rolling tool. We'll double click here. And if I roll back here, one frame at a time, or five at a time, you'll see it's pulling this back, but the way the rolling tool works is it shortens this, but it extends the second. So you can see here on the end, that has not moved. It has just pulled more footage from the first of the second clip to cover and go backwards. And like I said, you can do the same thing with the J, L, K key. So as long as this is clicked forward, I'll go forward with the L and you'll watch the images on top, find the exact spot where you want it to meet. And you can see now it adjusts. So then it brought the edit over here and extended the first one and shortened the second one. But it did not affect the end of this and it did not affect the beginning of this. It just played here with the middle because I had the rolling edit tool active. So depending on whatever tool you have active, it'll adjust that way from these buttons up here, going forward a little bit frame by frame or five frames at a time, or you can use the J, K, and L key. Let me go backwards with the J, stop with the K, and it automatically updates that adjustment. Let me go back a little bit forward, fine. That's where I want to stop. It leaves the edit there. So you can just activate this and J, K, and L key to exactly the frame you want, or you can fine tune it with this minus or plus one frame at a time. That is just a great way to use dynamic trimming using the J, K, and L key. And I also posted a video about the J, K, and L keys previously to this video. I'll link it up top. You can check if you want to just focus just on the features and the functions of the J, K, and L key. Anyway, I hope this helped a little bit. If it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later.